just making fun and trying to get people to join my stream because I am a very terrible human being and like to shill my things because I am a shill, 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 give me simp bucks, please, God, I need them. But. And what are we drinking tonight? Well, uh, I found a new beer place, actually, and I ended up getting uh, Dragon Stout, or, which is a Jamaican import. And it's actually pretty good, a little meaty. Pretty meaty, good flavor on it. I would probably pair it with something a little bit heavier. Good cheese, maybe. But overall, that, that's pretty good. So let's get on the, mag the life of magic. And unfortunate events. Magic has been seeping into dark in London. London since since the darkening itself. With a plethora of outsiders calling the ancient city home. Is it bad that I'm playing French or cafe music on the game about England? Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Who knows? We play things fast and loose here. The plethora of outsiders calling the ancient city home. Care the urchin the urchins given the chance. To tap into the ma tip into the magic that has been leaking into the city, but at the cost of their mind, soul, and bodily health. All, ma all magic is dr actually I should say the urchin's magic. Capitalizing, I have to capitalize magic because magic is technically like a technical term. So that's always good to do. <laughs> so the urchins. Mike. Oh god, people are asking how to market things. No! Please, no. The urchins' magic is fundamentally tied to their familiar an awakened part of themselves and that allows them to tap into the sphere of magic magic around the city and beyond the familiar is a guide a companion and a focus for the for the urchin to direct their abilities and talents. And as the urchin grows in power, so does their familiar. Starting as, starting as little more than a beast, than a raw and an untamed beast, slowly morphing into a crypt into a stalwart if cryptic ally uh, or companion companion there we go so we want to start with familiars at start at the start of play the urchin has a familiar that is fundamental. That is tied. I did that. And their overall persona. The familiar can be seen. Can be seen by others. But at but but people not 
in the know, but people unable to perceive magic correctly, they appear as normal sized animals. Familiar can be anything from a common cat, a bird, a dog, a cat, a bird, dog, cat, bird, dog. I don't know how you put you in the A's there. Cat, bird, dog, or rat. The character that the urchins find a connection to. For example, my uh, example character, I have Donovan White here. I chose his familiar to be a giant fluffy dog because at the end of the day, he is a, he's a nice kid. He's a, he kind of has this exterior of being a mean jackass of a human being, but he's a softy on the inside. And so that's why his, his familiar is a big fluffy dog because that's who he is. But if you're a Hellion, you know, you may, or someone very sneaky, you might have a rat. But if you're a Hellion, you might have someone like a cat. So it's kind of reflected of your personality. Oh, not again. Let's take out more. But this is Victorian. This is Victorian London. Time of excess. And odd creatures prowling. Prowling the streets. So I have to put this little line in here, and what this line is effectively saying is do you want a really weird animal as you're familiar? You can do it because you're this is Victorian London. There were shit in Victorian London that people don't even think about. It's this weird stuff. The zoo was there, and you know, and people were bringing stuff shit from all over the world to model it out, say, hey look, look at this amazing animal we found. Now, obviously, if someone's like, I want my elephant to be it. No. Tell them no. Tell them no and laugh at them. Because that's an elephant and that's way too big. But overall, that's the uh, pitch, you could say. people say I'm going to be teaching people how to market their games these people always just, just chill bro it's not that easy god I wish it was that easy god I wish so let's see so familiar Victorian London time except all creatures prowling the streets Unfortunately, the commissioner isn't here, so I can't just yell at her to make my life easy. Because that would be far, far too simple. And why are you all heading three? Stop that, please, God. Please let me die! Channel, channel my little, a little bit of my inner terminus there. Familiar, a familiar can perceive magic. Starting as a little more than an untamed beast, laying over into a stalwart, if cryptic companion. Growing in, growing in power. The familiar Erlin is able to assist the urchin more closely, more closely in their endeavors. However, at two distinct points, the 
the familiar will need to enter a state known as the chrysalis. State is known as the chrysalis. This is another time where we get to consult all these notes again. Yay! Notes. Uh, so, essence grows, stronger magics, then at a particular point, the track starts to track for great familiar has to make perform a vision quest. But they are fully able after a week of time. Hello, phone. After a week of time, the familiar re emerges larger, larger, and more monstrous, capable of. Larger and more monstrous. Well, let me see if I can't just take some lines now. Vision class, formation of nine. Time is up. Bigger and some clear and normal one side. Larger and more monstrous. So, but it also, but it's overall. In Intelligence and personality develops further. On um, the states. Actually, a footnote, footnote. Uh, often lasts a single week. Uh, but more monstrous changes. Poor, poor circumstances. Or a traumatic experience may extend it a few days. To, to reach such a state, the familiar, the familiar will need to will need the urchin to complete a God, what's a good line? A requester said a vision quest. But a vision quest isn't quiet the right word for this is there some way I can say it that's cheaper in our word economy with need to complete a quest Uh, to a uh, to quest and visit a significant kind location to enter the chrysalis. The Chrysler, yeah, the Chrysler, the chrysalis state. Now we get to add, just we get to go over here, we get to add 
a new table. Because we like tables, right? Tables are fun. And then we're, going, we're pretty much going to do Essence. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, chrysalis needed. Actually, chrysalis. Abilities. Animalistic. Cryptic languages. Uh, yeah, actually. the chrysalis is first evolution sounds like a fucking digimon digimon digital monsters never be the tabletop game never be the tabletop game digital monsters go ah uh, what am I looking for Again, this is animalistic qualities, basic speech. Uh, complex, complex thinking. Larger, mountable, much larger, monstrous. See, I, I don't know how much I'm allowed to put there, so I'm just putting here. Because she's... The, the requester has told me what's... what's a thing and what isn't a thing. But I don't know if that's, like, a universal, like, everyone kind of knows, or nobody knows. Because she was kind of going back and forth on it, so... I'm going to play it safe and just put that. She wants me to change things. She's allowed to. So, going off this. Our first, our essence one. This is where all characters start out. Essence one is where pretty much you have a dog or you have a cat. And the cat and dog does cat and dog things nearby and can be perceived, but also can't be perceived. Like, they're kind of there, but kind of not there. And they are more of a kind of a reflection of you, allowing you to tap into the power, your powers. In essence, too, your, your familiar begins to be able to kind of enunciate basic speech. Now, mind you, this isn't unk like food and unk like this. No, it's... Being able to string word, some words together, but not being able to possibly kind of make them fully understandable, if that makes sense. So it's the difference between you need to go through the door and through the door you go. It makes sense. Like, all the words are there, but it's very different. So, for example, our uh, Donovan White's dog, we'll call him... Uh, I don't know. It's fluffy for now because I'm terrible with goddamn names. God, you know, God save any fucking cat, any animal I get. But let's say I 
his first line, he might be addressing everything in a very derpy, very <laughs> kind of way. It's like goofy in some capacity. Where every line that he says is kind of mixed with that kind of absent-minded, well, gosh, gosh, Donnie, I don't know. And he just doesn't get it. He's just not a very intelligent beast. Because, well, Donovan's not a very smart boy. He's kind of a dumbass, to be honest. So his familiar, which is kind of a reflection of him, also kind of reflects that. But as it grows in strength, by the time we hit, let's say, a five, outside the dog being a monstrous creature, which is freaking huge, they're also being able to kind of string words together a bit more easily, one, as well as being able to understand things a little bit more. At this point, the familiar can deceive you, or if it can make judgments on its own. It's kind of its own independent being, rather than just being again, a reflection of you. It's just say, I like this person, the familiar is going, I like this person. But if you're like, I like this person, the familiar kind of that complex thinking and advanced speech, maybe like, mm, maybe we shouldn't trust him because he does, I don't like his smell. Or he may be speaking in limericks where you kind of have to interpret it. Or even more convoluted, it could just be really dumb and not understand that, you know, all people are the exact same and obviously, well, that person looks suspicious so therefore everyone looks suspicious treat them as independent characters Kathmi wants to do this I think this will work put a picture right there to tie everything together and now spells now comes the fun part now comes the the part where I want to drink myself into a coma, and this is why I have my my drinkies. So we have our seven greats. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna control C. Save that. Reduce the size just so I can actually see this a little bit better. You guys can't see it, but it's not like anyone's actually there. Whoa. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound. It's never good when you can feel your back snap into various places it shouldn't be going. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. There we are. Hurdy, hurdy, hard. Looks, how does that look? That looks absolutely atrocious. I need to bump that up in size. Just a smidge. We'll do 14. So. Oh, God. Work it out. Here are our seven great paths of magic. We have the path of self, the beast, shadow, overworld, otherware, death, and life. Pretty simple. And. Let's see. Let's see, the path of self, the path of the beast, I think it's called the path of beasts, the path of shadow, the path of overworld, the path of otherware, the path of death, and the path of life. So, let's see, so... Uh, indeed, the cell path of altering yourself, usually for better at something or take a more advantage shape. The may involve changing genders or completely in human shape, if wished, at the highest levels. So, changing the self. Uh, let's see, use communicate with other animals, call upon them for help, or a high level. Uh, let's see. Uh, manipulating animals. 
Mesh, I should say, manipulating beasts. Shadows, path that involves uh, manipulate, manipulating darkness. Manipulating the elements. Magic. Manipulate. Manipulation. Death. And the manipulation. Life. This is how we're roughly going to be summarizing everything. Because this is going to get chunky. So. Uh, seven. Paths of magic. While magic. Well, uh, magic is a wild and uncontrollable uncontrollable force humanity humanity has managed to distill it down into seven simple into seven simple categories to assist in its understanding Each of these paths assist the urchin in understanding and manipulating certain fields, certain fields within the, the, the sphere of magic. Why are you heading three? Stop that, please. No, no, please stop this. The urchin begins play. With, with four steps, four steps in any of the paths. Be it single a single step in one, single step in four, or four steps in one. Every time, every time a spell is required, required to use actually every time a spell is used the character will roll a number of d6s equal to the number of steps on their given path if if the urchin if the urchin is attempting use two paths for a single spell they use only the path with the greater amount of steps in it so to put it into boring math terms I have a five in death a three in life I want to do a death life spell I'm going to use the five in death not the three in life that three in life doesn't but you have to have a step in it to use it The urchins step on the path to utilize it, however. And here's how I'm going to format this. It's, it's going to be the path of X. Brief description. It's going to be a description here. And we're going to do example 
I'm going to do two examples, uh, just an example spell. So, the path, the path of self. Alteration of one's body, an image was on the rage among higher elites. Higher elites at first. But when the changes were sometimes permanent, or sometimes, or sometimes temporary, the fads quickly died. However, the ability to manipulate, however, the ability to manipulate the body is, is an essential tool in the arsenal. In the arsenal. In the arsenal of the downtrodden. Able to change their bodies. To do as thy do their bidding. And our example spell for Path of the South, obviously, we're going to do Marauder's Arm. Actually, should say every time a character. To use a spell, the character, the character, the character must roll a check using their essence, using their attunement, plus essence, plus path to secure, to secure, um, Using their attunement plus essence plus path to see if they are victor see if they are successful. All spells are considered to be key roles. Uh, no, 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 no. My idea of keeping everything key roles would the concept behind that is to effectively make it so you, the character, you and you, the player, are kind of, I wouldn't say necessarily, like, always super encouraged to break yourself doing magic. So it's just like, hmm, I can cast Fireball here, but if I screw up, yeah, Fireball is going to go out, but I'm going to blow my arm off. So that's kind of the back and forth there. Hmm. Let's say to use a spell, care too much for roll, checking using their attunement, plus action, plus path to see if they are successful. On a successful roll, the character, character uses, the, uses the spell. But on a failure, the spell fizzles. Well, fizzles and nothing occurs. Key rolls tied to tied to spells, tied to magic. Always, actually, no, 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 no I don't need that roll. Might because nothing says fun and exciting than I cast magic missile, failing at casting the magic missile anyway and coughing up your lungs. Hippity hoppity, your body is now my property, says, says literal Satan Hitler. Also, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you are brand new or if you've watched me before, but we are actually working on the Urchin Queen's Carnival, which is a commission project that I took on Twitter. We are working on magic as of right now. And magic is a little bit complex in this situation because it's kind of taking two very mutually exclusive concepts of magic and merging them together to try to make a cohesive whole. Because on one hand, you have a 
very Call of Cthulhu-esque system of doing things, which is magic bad, magic make you go crazy, don't do it. But you also have the kind of more Maho Shoujo way of approaching things, which is magic good, please use it to stop bad things. So I needed to balance that out. So I'm making it, I'm making it hostile. That magic will kind of, abuse of magic will eventually kill you. But I also want to say, like, hey, I know how to control my magic, so I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep pushing it. I want to keep pushing my magic. Every step of the way, I want to keep pushing it. I want to make it more and more. So let's see, Marauder. And I'll actually tie it to a difficulty. We'll make it moderate. Your chins. To in. Inform. A taking form of a weapon to be used in combat. The damage of the weapon. Damage of the weapon is equal to the character's bod score. And possesses the natural tag. Arm is our example spell. And the path of beasts. Animals and magic. Animals and magic have always been tied together. From ancient have been tied together as they are ab as they are able to detect it much more readily. As well as the familiars taking the form of conventional animals. The path of beasts allows the as the urchin to manipulate this innate connection by forcing animals to do their bidding. Speaking to the speaking to them in their own tongue, and understand, and cursing the greatest animal, greatest animal, man, into painful situations. And we're going to do our example spell, which we're going to be doing. Speaking. Speaking with birds. It's going to be an easy spell. The urchin. The urchin begins to converse. Converse with, with the birds chirping and cawing. To casually address and understand what the animals, what the anim, what the avians, I should say, avians are saying and doing. Mm. You know what? I just thought of an idea. I'm gonna put that right there. Put 
that right there. And what I'm going to do... This may be a good idea, this may not be a good idea. So we want to do what an easy spell looks like, what a hard spell looks like, what a kind of what a complex spell looks like. And from there, the Game Master should be able to get a rough idea of how to actually do it. Say, like, okay, this is a hard check. Hey, this is an easy check. Hey, this is a simple one. Yada, yada, yada. Words, words, words. You know how it be. So, these as well, conversing with simple animals, birds, cats, dogs, hard spell, ordering, ordering wild animals, complex spell. Manipulation of humans uh, of the human form. And nope. Right. Also did. Easy. Actually, I could probably get rid of spell. Word economy. I think that works. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. So then we go to the Path of Shadow. Mm. It's Shadow Jutsu. It's Shadow Jutsu, everyone. But don't worry, we like Shadow Jutsu. Jutsu? Actually, I'm Okay, so we're here, time to completely break Naruto Tabletop RPG. Not really, there's just a D20 game. Huh. Huh. Jesus, Christmas Christ, like, ugh. Eleven hundred pages of content. Crickety Christ Almighty. Yep, no. It was curiosity, I say. Curiosity. <laughs> the only companion a person has is their own shadow. Their own shadow. With the darkening in London, many shadows. Many shadows are far longer and far more independent. The path of shadow 
past the shadow, shadow is the manipul is the use understanding and is use and control of of an individual shadow. Shadow to dart around to dart around dark places. Protect the protect the person. More simply, slink away, slink away into the inky darkness. But not all shadows. But, but darkness can quickly be dispelled. And now we're going to be doing a easy spell. A set of easy spells would be uh, manipulation of one's personal shadow, shadow to obfuscate, obfuscate them, obfuscate them. A hard. Manipulate man it manipulation of one's personal shadow to act as an independent entity complex manipulation of another another shadow to control or manipulate control of another person's shadow Control of manipulation of another person's shadow to direct to directly influence them. I think this that might be the first time we see a oh gosh, where we see marionettes where you can just control someone off the bat. And half of me wants to sort these out alphabetically, the other half of me does not because I am not a masochist. So actually, during this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Donovan's uh, Paths of Magic so settled. So his Paths of Magic, I think he would go Self Beasts. He'd put two into both. That would be his thing. He wouldn't want anything else. That's not who he is. He's not... He would be the kind of saying, I'm not into that fancy pantsy stuff, but he would be the one to talk to talk to dogs because everyone thinks he's simple. The path of overworld. Nature and okay. Nature and its elements have been fundamentally altered with the darkening. But even fires grow cold, grow colder, and the winds far icier. The winds grow colder, and and the air t air smells of ash. Nature powers on. The path of, of over overworld is the manipula is the use the use of the natural elements to assist the urchin in everyday tasks tasks and abilities N in everyday tasks as well as manipulate them for more hostile endeavors. Uh, let's see. With the bleeding, with the bleeding of magic into natural world, however, the elements are a fickle bunch. 
No fickle bunch. Helping today and burning you the next. And we want to do an easy spell. Uh, changing a single uh, manipulate. Uh, how do I want to change that? Use manipulating quite a bit. I want to use another word. Uh, manipulating. Synonym. Oh. Controlling a single element. Element to do a single thing. Controlling a single element. Hard. Controlling multiple elements. elements or a single element element directly and complex controlling many element controlling many elements at once or employing a single one single one to a precise degree. So, for example, I want to turn off the fire. I want to turn off a fire. That's an easy spell to do. Or, hey, I want to shoot a fire, you know, ray of you know, fire at someone. That's a hard spell. You know, I want to shoot a flaming arrow at someone from across the area. That would be complex. Because again, it's more how direct you want it to be. Kind of just a blast of fire is different than a grandiose display of f firing and fiery death. So let's do the path of the other way. Path of the other way. The realm of magic has been closely studied. Closely studied and poorly understood. As its laws are, chain are ever changing, and possess little internal consistency. However, the use of otherware magic, otherware magics, allows the use of these loose rules to one's advantage. Working Working the path of otherware allows the urchin to bend, twist, and snap reality about as long as they follow consist follow its own consistency. They are also also privy to the knowledge manipulating outsiders of controlling outsiders easy let's see how do I want to do that it's, it's the manipulation of magic fundamentally speaking simple equation a simple equation of logic I'm gonna put a footnote here my door opens my door cannot be opened by anyone other than me hard complex equation a complex equation or control over a lesser outsider a lesser outsider footnote it 
if one of my coven mem coven members speaks three speaks three magic words, they will be teleported to a to our base to our headquarters. Headquarters as long as they are wearing red. Complex. A strange and alien equation. <laughs> See, an alien equation of logic and control over a Not a lesser outsider, not the absolute weakest. Over a. Actually, I want to do lesser outsider and a minor outsider. Foot. Footnote. If someone, if someone uses it. A spell from the other use a spell from the path of shadows illuminate the entire area illuminate the entire area in blinding light in blinding light and turn the root turn the area and invert their, their senses. So pretty much with other verse things, what you want to do is make the one to two to threes. It's action, person, you know, action, person, or it's action, action, person, person, or person, person, action, action, action. Oh, it's, it's a lot of, dare I say it's an equation. Because you have to, you have to build its own internal consistency. There is no consistency, but there is its own consistency. So it's, I want to access my home. Only I can access my home. The door will own, the door, the object will only open the action when I'm here. The trigger. So if it's something, but if you do it a lot more complex, it's, the door, the object will only open. The action, when I'm present, the trigger, and alive. So you've made it more complex. You added more things. While, you know, a completely alien and bizarre one might have... The door will open to another, you know, another area. If I'm there and I'm wearing the color red, but... If I am there wearing the color blue, it'll open to a completely different area. Pretty much, it's the number of triggers, objects, actions, and it's pretty much you just want to build the, the one to two to three in the very rough way of doing it because the manipulation of magic in any, comp, in any game is completely fucking broke sometimes. And of course, you know, to defeat some defeat an otherware magician is to understand how they're thinking. So if they have, let's again, uh, for example, our oh hey, the door this door only open for me. But if they're there or you have a picture of them, well, they're technically flowing the logic. The logic is only them, and that's clearly them in a picture form, so it works. So you kinda have to discover how deep the the rabbit hole goes when you're facing someone with this or if you are in terms if you are a player pretty much you're using this more as a utility sense it's 
uh, do the x to y to z, and you need to get that equation set up. If you get the equation set up, you're solid, you're golden, you're, you are, and I do quote Gucci. Let's see, we've got four. God, we need. Did we forget one? So like one, two, three, four. What? Self. Self, beast, shadow. Oh, I forgot to put overworld in there. I was scared. I'm like, oh god, did I forget one? <laughs> this gets why I don't charge by the page. And now we do death and life. The path of death. 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 This is inevitability. Life is life is a simple terminal illness. The manipulation of death, actually the workings of death are simple. Are simple as they are complex. Using and abusing using the departed is an art for, is an art form reserved for for the most dreadful of necromant of necro only the most dreadful of necromancers hold me closer necromancer yeah <sighs> With the ability to to animate corpses, spread diseases, diseases, and play with the soul, the souls of the departed and living. The the archer has a certain degree certain degree of control over the fabric fabrics of life but the ability to contact to contact the departed may bring comfort to those who have lost too much and we're going to do it easy uh, changing uh, manipulate, manip manipulating soulless corpses. Manipulating small corpses or being or beings of lesser souls. Yeah, animal, animals, animals and such. Hard. Relating large corpses. And spreading. And spreading deathly disease. Deathly aura. Let's see the living. Complex. Manipulating living soul, living souls, greater souls. Manipulating, manipulating living souls, manipulating large, large corpses. Recently departed souls. Uh, 
Maximus Dreadful Departed is an art reserved for the most dreadful of necromancers. For the most dreadful of necromancers. Of necomancers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I did that, by the way. I'm, I'm horribly sorry. I just yawed on stream. I'll commit Sudoku later. I'm not going to be able to fit everything on here. This is painful. Please kill me, please. Um. There's a bend twist. Bend and twist. Bend and twist. Okay, there we go. And then we put the path of life. is a specter. Life. Life finds a way. Jurassic Park reference. Wink. I'll take my, I'll take my, my 50 simp bucks, please. Nothing smooth. Life finds a way. The path of, the path of life is perhaps the most noble, noble of the paths, able to heal, fix, cure, and assist those in need. However, life is a tricky, life is a tricky substance. It leaks, it leaks fast, Demand sacrifice, sacrifice to keep around. Stitching, stitching, and closing wound, wounds a painful affair. With that, with that sedative, and screaming into, into the, pit, the pitch black. Be actually being dragged from the edge of death. Of death by by the golden hands of li hands of life may not be so comforting. May not be so comforting to those craving it. And and like any and as with any as with any messiah. Those with healing hands are often task, tasked with curing the lepers. With curing the lepers. Or being forced to, at least. Easy. Simple wounds and incurable diseases. Not hard. Deep wound, deep wounds and lethal diseases. Lethal is actually deep wounds, lethal diseases, terrible infection and terrible infections. Complex resuscitation. Resuscitation. Resuscitation of the dying and dragging them back to life. Effectively, the hardest part about being a member of the path of, kind of, uh, walking down the path of life is that people are going to expect you to assist them. 
you are becoming a figure to them. Your goal in life is to now help them. And they know it, and they will demand it of you. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kill that. I'm going to open up urchin stuff again. And we're going to go to Fontarino's 20. Uh, let's see. Essence grows. Mm. Where is it? What? I not. Oh, oh God. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call the stream here. We've been streaming for a little over an hour right now. We got a lot done. We actually got through the entirety of Magic, which was kind of... It doesn't seem like a lot. Like, yay, congratulations, you got through like three pages. But this was a lot of writing and a lot of little stuff. But So since this is done, we're actually on the on the solid roll to wrapping up combat. Once combat's written, wrote up, we're pretty much done. The hard part's done. We really don't have to worry about all that much at that point. As... The combat is going to be the hard part. I'm going to actually probably put a section on hauntings, which are hard to explain, but it'll be easier when I write it out. But I will be putting that in probably in between things as just a way to assist myself and to not have my head explode. And after that is combat. Combat's going to be a bit complicated because you have, I'm taking two radical extremes and trying to make them work together in a relatively consistent manner. Because on one hand, you have the very Call of Cthulhu-esque combat. You shouldn't be getting into combat because combat's very dangerous. And on the other hand, you have the very magical girl or magical boy or whatever the fuck uh, approach to things, which is use magic to do good and you'll fight, you'll, you'll fight the power. So you kind of have that back and forth of the two don't quite mesh together. It's... Unless you, you kind of say, like, don't get into combat unless you need to, but then that's even kind of a, a crapshoot. So, uh, thank you for watching, for everyone who did. Uh, everything will be getting uploaded gradually. Uh, and with that, I think we're going to call it a day. Now, I will attempt to stream tomorrow. That would be Thursday. However, do not quote me on that, because I'm doing things. So our next stream will definitely be on Friday, which we'll do combat on. Once combat's wrapped up, we can see where we are and take stock. Thank you all very much, and have a wonderful rest of your day.